Here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is retail. Can I have somebody to come in and talk on that? Joe Coffett. Uh, Tesco's have announced that they are going to overhaul their shops by employing more staff, uh, which is great because uh, the self-scanning doesn't work, does it? It's just a row of angry people shouting at machines. <laughs> just going, but there's nothing in the bagging area. I've removed it from the bagging area. <laughs> Do you know what's in the bagging area? A friggin' bag. What a surprise. <laughs> and also, I have to say, though, sometimes a person isn't better, right? I was at Tesco's at the checkout with a person at the checkout, and just by mistake, instead of the Tesco club card, I handed over my Sainsbury's nectar card. <laughs> the woman at the checkout in Tesco's, no word of a lie, she looked at the Sainsbury's card, she put it down, she then looked at her own badge. <laughs> just to go, maybe she's right, maybe I do work in Sainsbury's. <laughs> So the shopping came to £3.76, so I gave her £5 and a penny and then stood back and watched her head explode. <laughs> <laughs> and another shop, Abercrombie & Fitch, they were famously sued in America because they had a policy of only employing young, very attractive people. I thought, do you think Argos has the exact opposite policy? <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's spin the wheel again. The subject is health. Who wants to come in at? Carl. Um, right. I, uh, I suffer from recurring stomach problems, which sometimes lead me into quite embarrassing situations. One happened when, uh, about two years ago, I went to see Alicia Keys live in concert at the O2 Arena. That's not the embarrassing bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, en route to meet friends to go to the show, I stopped off at my doctor to get a little checkup, uh, and he said it was all fine, but he wanted a stool sample, so he gave me a little pot and said, do your sample, drop it in in the morning. So I put it in my bag and then went to meet friends for a drink before the show. About half an hour passed, I felt movement. I thought, I better do it now, I've got to drop it in in the morning. So I went to a pub toilet and I did my sample in a pot and put it back in my bag, went out, didn't tell my friends what I'd done, we just carried on drinking. About half an hour later, it's showtime, went to the O2 Arena, where I'd never been before, to see Alicia Keys. <laughs> And I reckon it was about 30 metres from the front of the queue where I found out about their compulsory bag search system. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried to explain to a security guard why you're trying to smuggle a stool sample into an Alicia Keys concert? <laughs> it's pretty tough. When he pulled it out, I've never heard more shock on a man's voice. <laughs> he just sort of went, what is it? Like that. And I freaked out and said the first thing that came into my head, so I went, it's a pot of shit. Like that. <laughs> Which he then repeated louder, right? <laughs> he just sort of went, upon you! And it went back down the queue like Chinese whispers. <laughs> About sort of 20 people back, I think I heard somebody go, I think there's a guy with a bowl of chips at the front or something. Like that. <laughs> so I'm just there, totally embarrassed, didn't know what to do, I'm always crying. I explain my story. The guy gets his supervisor who comes over, and this is a great response. I, I was honestly like, oh, I've got a bug, sorry. And he listens to all that and goes like this, he goes, all right, I believe you, you can keep it. <laughs> 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 OK, that leaves us with Milton. Let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. The subject is relatives. <laughs> <laughs> the scariest thing that ever happened to me in my entire life was when I was very little. My dad said, I'm just going to pop upstairs. And he went upstairs and he popped. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't speak to my dad. Well, he was a bus driver. You're not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, he's allergic to cheese, not the taste. Just if anyone says the word, he goes, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, but we've got some weird family photos. <laughs> My grandfather, he was a GI, and he was in the RAF. OK, he was a giraffe. <laughs> During the war, when board games were illegal, he was put in prison for being a Yahtzee sympathiser. <laughs> My uncle, he was a security guard at the O2 Arena. 